प्रभु जी हरे कृष्ण कृष्णाथर गरम मेथर हटात किना बढि गला है वी वर रीडिंग फ्रॉम द थिक चैप्टर आई थिंक इट वाज जस्ट टू पेपर वी वर अबाउट टू स्टार्ट द सिक्स्थ चैप्टर Mm, the sixth chapter we just start taking to krishna consciousness as simple that how we should take to krishna consciousness in india all scriptures and great spiritual teachers including shankara acharya and personalist accept krishna as the supreme lord in the beginning of his commentary on the bhagavad gita shankara acharya says that narayan is the transcendental is transcendental to this manifested and unmanifested creation and in the same commentary he says that the supreme personality of god narayan is krishna appearing as a son of devaki and vasudev thus in this respect there is little difference of opinion about krishna so those who are authorities be the personalist or impersonalist are in agreement that lord krishna is the supreme so very nice uh, prophet has given a comparison that although some places uh, shankara acharya writes that lord is beyond this manifest and unmanifested creation that means he does not have any father and mother but still he writes the narayan appears as the son of devaki and vasudev so probably is telling uh, although there is little difference somewhere it is written he is nothing to do with this creation and somewhere it is written he is the child of devaki and vasudev still krishna is the supreme master everybody agrees uh, both personalist and impersonalist impersonal personalist means those who accept the form of lord and impersonalist those who only accept krishna's a lord's uh, impersonal form or lords the those who tell that brahman is the highest so then when krishna was present on this planet he proved by his activities and opulence that he is a supreme lord if we were actually anxious to understand who and what the supreme lord is all of the information is given in vedic literatures if we utilize whatever we have in our possession to understand god krishna will prove that he is the supreme personality of god if we but accept this one fact then all of our education is complete it is fashionable to research to try to find out who is god but this is not necessary we probably saying that uh, although when krishna was present we could directly see him and see his activities and could understand that he is the supreme lord but for our case we did not worry so much that when will lord so his govardhan leela when will he kill putana demon then i will understand that he is the supreme lord for us we just can go through the vedic scriptures and there we can know how lord is the supreme so that's what prabhupada is saying that if we utilize whatever we have in our possession to understand god krishna will prove that he is the supreme center so if we just want to understand this we can understand this and 
if we but accept this one fact, then all of our education is complete. But what happens today? That today people are not interested in this research so much. People are not interested to read the spiritual literature so much. People accept this uh, our historic heritage. They tell it mythology. Mythology, which comes from myth, or myth which comes from mythya, because they think that they think that these are all stories. They are not uh, true facts. But Prabhupada emphatically says that yes, these are facts. Why? Because these scriptures are personally written by such and such devotees or personalities, and they have not written of their own. They have followed the line of historic succession. Prabhupada is saying God is present and Himself says that. How? Mata parata ramna nyat kinchidaschi astidha nanjaya mai sarvamidam rotam sutre mani ganayiva. O conqueror of wealth, Arjun, there is no truth as superior to me. Everything rests upon me as pearls, as strong money. Thread. This information is not only given in Bhagavad Gita, but in other Vedic scriptures as well. And it has been accepted from the very beginning by great Acharyas like Sankaracharya, Ramanuja Acharya, Madhva Acharya, Lord Chaitanya, and many other stalwart authorities. So Prabhupada is giving a very nice thing, very nice proof that how we can understand that Lord uh, Krishna is the Supreme. This information can be understood from the scriptures and also from the leaders or the acharyas in our line or acharyas in uh, this society. Whoever it may be, they have accepted Krishna as the supreme presenter of Lord. Even at the present moment, those who do not accept Krishna as supreme Lord are accepting the knowledge given by Krishna to Arjuna. So in this way, they are accepting Krishna indirectly. So if somebody says that Bhagavad Gita has a very, means, uh, Bhagavad Gita has a lot of application for everybody. So people say that, but they don't accept who told it. They don't accept the person who told it as the Supreme. That is their unfortunate. But we should understand that if Krishna is the Supreme, whatever he does is also Supreme. That's why if Bhagavad Gita is accepted all over, that means Krishna is the Supreme. So if one accepts the Bhagavad Gita as a great book of knowledge, he is also accepting Krishna. There is no doubt that the Supreme Absolute Truth is Krishna and that we have our eternal relationship with him. There is no doubt about it. Our eternal relationship with God is so bhajan. God is great and we are subordinate. That's our eternal relationship. That the Lord is the greatest. He is the predominant, we are the predominant. The duty of the subordinate is to please the predominant. Similarly, the duty of similarly, if we want to be happy, we must learn to make Krishna happy. This is the process of Krishna. Just see such a simple formula provided. That what is our process for Krishna consciousness? Whatever we do is just to please Krishna. Because Krishna is great, we are his subordinate. He is the predominator, we are the predominator. That's why our duty is to and subordinate is to leave the predominator. But this, how is it to be understood that the Supreme Lord is satisfied by our service and labor? Is it actually possible to perfect our service or occupational duty? A lot of people may have this question. That it is not possible Seba, perfect 
কারণ এভরি ওয়ান হ্যাড সাম সার্ভিস টু টু পারফর্ম অ্যাকর্ডিং টু হিজ ডেজিগনেশন হি মে বি ইন্ডিয়ান আমেরিকান হিন্দু মুসলিম খ্রিস্টান ম্যান উম্যান ব্রাহ্মণ ক্ষত্রিয় বৈশ্য সূত্র হোয়াট এভার ইন এনি কেস হি ইজ মেন্ট টু ডু সাম সর্ট অফ ওয়ার্ক and that work is his occupational duty perfection of duty can be tested by seeing whether the supreme lord is satisfied by its execution the supreme lord satisfaction can be tested by lord's dependent so how the duty uh, which is being performed is perfect or not to be known so the simple formula to know the duty we are doing is perfect or not is what whether whatever we are doing it is for the pleasure of krishna or not and whether we are doing it for pleasure of krishna or not can be understood by uh, whether whatever we did it pleased our spiritual master our guru or not so therefore it is important to seek out a real representative of the supreme personality of god and work under him and if he is satisfied then we should know that the supreme lord is satisfied so simple formula is how to know krishna is satisfied or not how to know our duty is perfect or not if krishna is satisfied and how to know krishna is satisfied or not if we can please lord supremacy or our spiritual master that's why prabhupada is quoting a very nice line from guru ashtakam krishna chakruti thakur says jasya prasada bhagavat prasado jasya prasada bhagati kutopi dhyam suvam stasya jasya sri shantam vande guru si charanaravindra what he says that by this mercy of the spiritual master one is benedicted by the mercy of krishna so simply by the mercy of spiritual master one can get the mercy or attract himself or krishna will get attracted towards him. and without the grace of spiritual master no one can make any advance that's a both are all the same statement but it is being told twice jasya prasada bhagavat prasada if we get the blessings of guru we get the blessings of lord but just a prasadan no gati kita but if we don't get the mercy of that personality spiritual master or guru then we don't have any hope therefore i should always remember the spiritual master at least three times a day at least three times a day i should remember the spiritual master and i should offer my respectful obeisances unto the lotus feet of my spiritual by three times a day it's at least three times a day so three times because those who uh, get brahman diksha they chant thrice brahman gayatri or that gayatri also in every gayatri they chant gurus pranam also so that's what minimum three times one should offer respects however when we go to the spiritual master we must pay obeisances as many time we go you can see in the abhicharan serial whenever any disciple would go to prabhu they would bow down and when they would come out they would bow down again if some uh, work comes and he goes again that time also he will bow down again if he had to go back outside then he bows down so in this way practically so many times a disciple can get chance to bow down in front of the spiritual master <laughs> the spiritual master is the representative of the supreme lord how does he become the representative if one says that such and such an object is a pair of spectacles and if he teaches his disciple in that way there is no mistake as to identify of the object the spiritual master is he who has captured the words of a particular disciplic succession in that case given the key word is spectacles that's all 
the spiritual master does not have to say anything beyond that. This is the qualification. So how does the spiritual master act? That he acts on behalf of the Supreme Lord. That's why whatever is being told, he does it as it is. That's why it's written spectacles. Because whatever is visible to the eyes or whatever is to be visible to the eyes, that only spectacles capture and give us. So in this way, whatever the spiritual master says, that is what Lord had to say. Because he is Lord's representative. This is the qualification. And Krishna says, I am the supreme. And the spiritual master says, Krishna is the supreme. So it is not that uh, to be a representative of Krishna or to be a spiritual master, one has to have an extraordinary qualification. So, simply Prabhupada is right. That Krishna is saying, I am supreme. And Guru is saying, Krishna is supreme. So, that means Krishna is the supreme. Then Prabhupada is saying that to re become a representative or spiritual master, one has to have some external qualification. That's why he simply has to carry the message from the authority as it is without any personal interpretation. And as soon as there is some personal interpretation, the message is lost and the instructions become offensive. The person who interprets the scriptures according to his own whims should be immediately. So Prabhupada is saying here, that like the spectacles, what he has to do? He has to carry the message from authority to the common people. And as soon as some interpretation is there, that means the parampara is lost. Like Krishna says that, uh, what is that? He said, uh, in the fourth chapter, second verse, he says, that because the parampara was broken, I came again to establish the parampara again. And those who actually interpret the scriptures, they should be rejected. So once Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu said, you are at least, uh, you all at least have enough sense to test you must at least have enough sense to test to find out who is a spiritual master and who is not. For instance, if we want to purchase something, we must at least have some ideas of what thing is, otherwise we will be cheated. So if we want to purchase a mango from the market, we must at least know what type of food our mango is and what it looks like. Similarly, we must have some preliminary knowledge of the qualifications of the bona fide spiritual master. Because Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is saying that at, at least what is saying? That we must have some sense, we must have some logic, we must have some intelligence to know who is our spiritual master. And who is not. That also we must know. So if we want to be cheated, we will be cheated. Mr. So Prabhupada is saying that if we want to purchase a mango, then at least we must know what a mango is like. Otherwise, we'll end up purchasing some potato or something else, or some tomato. Similarly, we must have some preliminary knowledge of the qualifications of a bona fide spiritual master. Bhagavad Gita itself gives some information about the succession of spiritual master. Yeah, this is the slope. Imam Vivasya Tejo Gam Suktavan Hamadhyayam Vivasyan Manave Brahma Manur Ikshvakave Abhravit Evam Param Param Para Praptam Imam Rajar Shayom Vidu
Sakalini or the Yoga Nasta Parantapo. That because of this line to break, because the line broke, that's why I am come again. Sayava I am my third year. Yoga Prokta Puratana. Bhakto Sime Sakachi Tira Samyata Uttama. The translation says, I instructed this impersonal yoga to Sun God Vivaswan and Vivaswan instructed it to Manu, who is the father of mankind. Manu, from Manu came word Manus. And Manu in turn instructed it to Ikshaku. And this supreme science was thus received through the chain of disciplic succession. And the saintly kings understood it in that way. But in course of time, the succession was broken and therefore the science as it is appears to be lost. So Prabhupada is saying that how if the parampara breaks, the Lord comes again and establishes the parampara. That very ancient science of relationship with the Supreme is today told by me to you because you are my devotee and my friend. Bhaktosime Sakhajit. Therefore, you can understand the transcendental mystery of this science. So, who can understand this? Whoever has got the qualification like Arjun. Bhaktosime Sakhajit. He must be related in some way to Krishna and he must be a devotee of Krishna. Then only he can understand Krishna. So let us keep here. Actually one time I asked uh, just this part which Prabhupada was reading. Means Prabhupada has written that you uh, must at least have enough sense to test out and find who is a spiritual master and who is not. So Chaitanya Mahabhu once told that it is important. That how we know that who is a spiritual master and whom should we surrender. And if we don't know, we'll end up in some mess. So that's why we must know that we are in this society, in this uh, most valuable worth millions of rupees or more than that society of Ispan. And here we have got the association of so many spiritual masters. And that's why it is our good fortune and we must release it by accepting the shelter of Ispan. Today I wrote, uh, we also gave one quote in the status, there it was written uh, that if we really appreciate what Prabhupada has given us, then we must distribute it to others. And that is the form of, uh, that is the way we can express our gratitude towards Prabhupada. Or else how much can we give for what we have received, we cannot give anything. But if we show our gratitude by giving this message to others, then that is the real good work we can do as a society. Actually, before coming to ISKCON, I thought that whoever is in which society or society, suppose I am in ISKCON, I'll just try to preach uh, people about ISKCON. If I am in some organ other organization, I'll try to preach about them. I thought that this is the business uh, kind of thing and they do like that. But later I came to know that no, this is not out of business they are doing it. This is out of gratitude they are doing. And this is out of uh, real love they are doing for the living entities. They are seeing that why are others suffering so much? Let me also help them. So for this reason, devotees go out and preach. So that's why the chapter name is Taking to Krishna Consciousness. And we must take to Krishna Consciousness. And at the same time, as much as we take, that much we have to give others. That is the real thing.
so thank you everybody anybody wants to add something some reflection sir uh prabhu ji uh, just i have a question uh, like uh, okay we do serve uh, lord each and every time right but uh, i mean what, what, is there any measure you know how let's say i'm going to evaluate right since uh, childhood you know since from school we have uh, half yearly and you know annual exam and you know in college we have semester even now i'm in you know into 10 years of my professional life right i mean you no know, every year we have appraisal right so mm-hmm. especially in this do we have any right i mean you no know, measurement where right you know my performance in terms of servicing krishna right i mean you no know, it will get measured mm, very good question yeah so like we have some uh, evaluation methods in our academics or some other areas in our life so similarly there is also this evaluation for our spiritual advancement that the spiritual advancement can be measured by how much love we have developed for krishna and his devotees the spiritual advancement can be measured by how much attitude of service we have developed we may not do all the service but how much we appreciate the other services how much we are able to uh, help others in their services so these are the things by which we can understand that we are advancing but with advancement if we are thinking that i am the greatest person i am i am only serving so nicely others are not doing nice so that means we are not advancing with advancement we can know uh, we can understand that how everybody outside this krishna consciousness is suffering so let others also come to our come and uh, read this gita come and join iskon they also will get this happiness in their life so when we uh, develop this compassion this mercy which prabhupad had then we will understand that we are also advancing actually we are not doing anything we are just connecting them to prabhupad and rest of the thing prabhupad will Hare Krishna okay, Prabhuji, Dandavat Prana. Uh, actually, Prabhuji, Prithis Prabhuji, what he was asking about how we can measure what are the indicators. Actually, in some of our uh, disciple courses, you have very nicely elaborated when we develop detachment from the materialistic world, the same proportionately we are attached to the spiritual world. That may be one, that may be one of the indicators. yeah that is a uh, that is also an indicator also in the same at the same way how much we are detached means how much we will also uh, try to preach others because we are ourselves detached so we will not just try to remain detached but we will make others also come to that point yes thank you ma'am. yes prabhu yes thank you prabhu ji dhanyawad ma'am actually i am attending surgeries cases in animals i am thinking that uh, my doing is also operations i am uh, giving pleasure to sri krishna whether i am correct in my version or not i am thinking i am actually always in serve of krishna actually and attending surgeries cases in real world whether i like is telling you are not doing <laughs> uh, no no i am thinking that whether i am Oh, is Krishna is pleased or not? It may serve this. Definitely, he'll get pleased. Uh, If somebody is suffering, yeah. and I'll just say he is suffering out of his karma, let me just forget it. Suppose a person falls down in front of you, and you don't don't go to him, don't lift him up, and we say that oh, it is his Prabhuji. karma, let him suffer. That means we. Are by that getting... also, I am not going to Prabhuji. By that, I am not going to Iskon also. Yesterday, I didn't could not go. Today, I could not go. I had to go to Nayagarh yesterday. today also we went to nimapada it's a different thing you should not do today <laughs> but you have been doing it for so many decades so definitely krishna's Prabhu. mercy Prabhu. Is there and krishna will save his person and that is the uh, back because those who are so much uh, those who love krishna's uh, creation they only get krishna parsit because if we don't love krishna's uh, parts and parcels and how yes, we can say we are loving 
Today, actually, I got to put one news that Rajasthan government has uh, um, made many such rules uh, against cow care, against cow means domestic, domestically keeping cows. They have made some rules. So it is a great thing for the actual government. Yeah, actually. Sir, it is about the domestic uh, keeping cows or slaughtering cows? No, no, they are putting marks that you cannot keep cow at your home. Mm. Uh, if, if you don't have such and such amount of land, you cannot purchase mm. fodder from anywhere. You have to pay proper license for purchasing fodder. You, you have to pay 1,000 rupees tax to the government if you keep a cow in your house. It's also That's true. Right. Are making to, uh, so, uh, so many rules are there for keeping yeah. cows. Mm. They are telling that don't That's keep cows. Actually, hmm. Prabhuji, those who have tabela, they can only keep. Otherwise, when I just on personal basis, they cannot keep. Ah. So why they have done this use, I don't know. Hmm. Okay. Okay, Hare Krishna. So thank you for joining. Shri Prabhupada, ki jai. Continue from.